Today we're going to be making a lower third title generator used to be in Final Cut Pro. We're going to use it making Motion 5. Hey guys, Nick Harrison here. I'm going to show you how to make a lower third generator title for Final Cut Pro, but we're going to use Motion 5 um, to, to make that. So let's go to Motion. We're going to open a new file. And instead of clicking on Motion Project like you normally would, we're going to click Final Cut Generator. Leave all the default settings as they are and click Open. Let me readjust where you guys can see. First thing we need to do is go to our zoom and click fit so we can see the entire canvas. As you can see it is black, that is what we want. That means it is transparent and so your video can be playing with your title going on uh, on top of it. First thing we need to do is draw a rectangle. We're just going to draw it down in the bottom right hand corner here. As you can see it is black by default but you can use your arrow key here, select the shape, Make sure your heads up display box is displayed if it is not you can click this button. This is your HUD. Make sure the fill is selected and click whatever color you would like. I'm going to make it red. We're going to add some text. I'm just going to add my name, but you can make this uh, whatever you would like. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger just to kind of fill out the shape. Use the arrow key tool here to resize and reposition. Okay, so you could actually export this as it is and use it as a lower third title, but we're going to make it a little bit more flashy where it actually uh, comes into the screen and then exits. So the first thing we need to do is select our rectangle tool here. Make sure your playhead down here is on zero seconds. We're going to go to our inspector tab, click on properties. And these numbers next to the x-axis, if you click and hold with your mouse and move your mouse, you can actually drag the shapes like this. So we're going to drag it off the screen. We're going to click the record button, move the playhead over to two seconds. That's how long it'll take for it to enter the screen. Move our x-axis back over so the shape appears on the screen and then unclick the record button. We need to select our uh, name layer, put the playhead back at the beginning. We're going to take the x-axis, drag the name off the screen like this. Click the record button move your playhead over to two seconds to line up with your shape and move your text back over. Unclick your record button so now if you play it from the beginning your text and your name will enter together. You could actually stop here export this and use it as a generator in Final Cut Pro as it is but we're actually going to make it leave the screen as well so as you can see these red dots down here all that means is this first red dot is where the movement starts and the second one is where it stops so it takes two seconds it stops at two seconds so we're going to put our playhead at five seconds so basically that'll give the reader or the viewer rather uh, three seconds so from two to five to read the text and I think three seconds is plenty long enough to read my name so we're going to put our playhead at five seconds. We're going to select our rectangle layer. Next to our X and Y axes, axes up here, rather, we're going to click this little button right here, which is simply adding a keyframe. We're going to click the record button, move our playhead to seven seconds, so that will give it two seconds to exit. And we're going to drag our layer off the screen, unclick the record button drag our playhead back to five seconds click our text layer add a keyframe click the record button move it over to seven seconds as well and then drag our text off the screen unclick the record button so now if you play it from the beginning your text and shape will enter at the same time they will stay on the screen for three seconds and then they will leave the screen at the same time this is a very, very basic lower third title, but for now that's what we're going to use uh, just as an intro to Motion 5. So now you need to go to File, Save As. You can name this whatever you would like. I'm just going to name it Nick Harrison Lower Third Title. And under Category, you will need to click Create New Category and name this whatever you would like. I've actually already created one named Nick's Generator, so I'm just going to save it there, but you can name it whatever you would like. Under Theme, you can leave it as None, click Save Preview Movie, and click Publish. 
it'll take just a second as you see we got the progress circle wheel here it'll take just a few minutes and you'll get a notification in the top right hand part of your screen saying that it has been published So I got the message, it's been published, so you can open Final Cut Pro now. And with that open, if you don't have this window displayed, you can click this button right here. It's your generators tool. And whatever category name you created, like I said, mine was Nick's generators, but whatever category name you have, click that. And then I named my Nick Harrison lower third title. So that actually, as you can see, is what we just created. So let's pretend like this selection here is our movie or our video. You can drag your lower third on top of the movie wherever you'd like it. And then when you play it, your lower third title will appear right over top of your movie like it's supposed to. It'll stay three seconds and then it'll exit the screen, which is exactly what we created. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.